Hey, hey, wives. Happy self-care Friday. <laughs> Happy self-care Friday evening. Happy self-care Friday evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Just wanting to pop in with you guys really fast. Did my little weekly check-in live. <laughs> While I'm looking cute. Because that changes during the week. So I said, while I'm looking cute, let me just go ahead and... um. Pop in real fast. I won't be here with y'all long. Hello, ladies. How are you this evening? Listen. The data, the data. How you say it? Is it the data is the data? One of them words. Hello. The data or the data. Both of them are in, okay? <laughs> Both of them are in. And so I thought, I thought I would come on with y'all really fast because I don't have much juice on my phone. And I kind of did that intentionally so I don't overly, you know, stay um, too long. But I'm going to just say a quick little prayer and we're going to go ahead and start so I can get y'all off to y'all weekend. Father, we bless you. We love you. We thank you, God, for this time. I welcome you now into this live session. Lord, give me the words to speak to your wife, God. I pray that this message reach the wife it needs to reach. May she be touched, change. I pray, God, that this be confirmation, revelation for her, God. I pray that you bring forth wisdom and cover us, Lord, in your son, Jesus, precious blood. I pray and ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, Miss Lady, what's going on? Okay, is that is that okay? I didn't know if that would I don't want to say no I don't want to say no names. Um, but hey, listen, real fast, real fast. I want to just jump on here. I know I had came on um last week, last week with y'all, and I was talking about and encouraging wise to take inventory, right? And so I wanted to kind of like start from there. I want to go back to that place. Did you guys get a chance to take inventory? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so that's you. Okay. Um, well, good. What's going on? What's going on? Hmm. I wanted to come on real fast and just um check with you guys and see if you were able to take inventory over yourself or have you started thinking about uh taking that inventory over yourself i wanted to talk about that a little bit just go back to that place um before we you know come completely to the end of the year girl thank you i said let me come on while i'm cute because y'all might see me in two more days and it won't look like this and then i found out that my hairdresser and i thought i had an appointment set up i must have thought that in my head she gonna be out <laughs> So I said, well, let me, let me, let me, let me do this while, you know, why y'all, why y'all got me cute because it might change next week. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I wanted to come on in and share. I have been doing some inventory myself. Um, just kind of going over some of the, um, the data I have collected from the wives that I have been coaching, um, I made a decision. I made a decision going into the new year that I will no longer be doing uh, grief coaching. I will no longer be doing grief coaching as far as in a set. Um, I had took away the monthly check-ins and the monthly check-ins as far as just wives just checking in, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, I had a certain amount of wives that would just check in monthly. And um, I had kind of removed that. But I'm kind of putting that back in place in a sense where that's available because I was removing that to put the grief coaching of um to put the grief coaching there. But after going through the data, after um speaking with some wives who are um currently co coaching in the grief um coaching, I decided that I'm not going to move forward with that. If that is something that they want to do, they can do that individually where they want to check in um and we can definitely talk about that, you know, when that time comes. But I'm going away. I'm going away with that because I have found out it is not as effective as the Herbonacy Boost. 
the her buoyancy boost is the curriculum for the wives who have made a decision to say, hey, I am making a decision to stand, stay, or be separated from my spouse until God tells me to do, you know, anything else. Um, and so the best way that I feel like I can help wives, the best way I feel like I can help wives is by taking her through my um, six weeks her buoyancy boost curriculum. And so I wanted to share that part first. Um, let's see. So, like I said, I recognize personally, too, I recognize personally, too, um, that this has been a long, hard year, y'all. It's been a very long, hard year for Coach T. Um, I have seen the highs, the lows, the wins, the losses, the good, the bad. Um, so it's been very, very hard, um, but also very productive. It's been very, very challenging, but also very favorable um and so i've seen both sides i've seen both sides and i kind of like did some inventory you know on myself as well just to kind of see where you know where i stand i always like to sh you know share transparency with you um and so i'm thankful i'm definitely thankful for all of it because going through if i go back to january to where i am now i'm thankful for what god has got me i'm thankful for the process that i went through i'm thankful for um the things that i had to endure and overcome and face um i'm thankful for those things because it got me to this place it got me to this place and so i always try to encourage wise you do not get better without the process you do not get better without the process. The process is mandatory. It is a necessity, okay? And so who anyone who thinks they can skip the process and head on over in full gear, um, they are either three things. They don't know no better. They are deceived or they are delusional. One of the three. Um, and that's me being really, really nice saying it that way. Because the process is really part of the growth the process is really how god um made the necessary changes that he needed to make in you for you to go to the next place and so i am here to tell you i am a witness that the process is necessary it is part of god's plan for you it is part of the plan um romans 8 and 28 reminds us that and we know that all things we know that all things work together for good to them that love god to them who are called according to his purpose and so um, working with a few wives over the past year, I've noticed something. I have noticed something. And what I have discovered is doing your personal inner work will transform you, mature you, renew your mind, and teach you how to prioritize your self-care. All right? Doing your personal inner work will transform you. It will mature you. It will help you to renew your mind. And it teaches you how to prioritize your self-care. And that part includes taking care of your mental, your emotional, your physical, and your spiritual health. All right? And I'm here for all that. Right? I'm here for all of that. Hello. Good evening. And so um, that was something that I have pulled out just from... This past year alone, that was something I took inventory of. Um, I'm a biggie on um, having wives to give me their feedback, you know, kind of sharing with me, you know, if it's any improvements that we can do in the curriculum to, you know, make some changes. Um, I want, I like to hear back from wives so I can make the curriculum better for the next, you know, for the next person. Um, and those, those are some of the things that kind of have stood out. So one of the benefits, one of the benefits, and yes, I'm talking about my curriculum tonight. <laughs> OK, because I feel like this is something that wise needs to take heed to, especially as they go and trans, you know, um, you know, as you go and we move forward into the new year, you really want to take into consideration what you need to do for your life to get better. What what's going to make you better, you know, moving forward? What 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 does better look like for you? Um, and so one of the benefits of the curriculum, her bonus boost is that um, wives normally come in with a problem about their marriage. That's most of the majority of time when I see wives, they come in with their marriage problem, whatever that marriage problem is, whether, you know, 
the husband has left the home, whether adultery has taken place, whether the husband has abandoned the home, whether the husband is dealing with some type of addiction, um, whether, you know, the husband and wife are in the same home, um, but they're not speaking to each other. Um, the husband is in the same home as the wife, but he's sleeping in a separate room. Um, the wife and the husband are sleeping in the same room with each other, but they still having their difficulties. I usually handle the, the hard stuff, the toxic stuff, the, the stuff, the unease stuff. That's normally what wives normally come in with. It's either those, those things I just mentioned or they come in because they are lacking in the area of self-care. They are lacking in the area of self-care. What end up happening, what end up happening, once the wife make a decision to take the curriculum, she begins to slowly um, unravel, unfold, um, re, you know, discover the, the, the light is shine on some areas that she needs to improve on. It's not necessarily just her marriage that is in trouble, but she too is in trouble. It's some areas that she really can like, you know, oh, I can probably do better in that area. Or, oh, I didn't really know I was really dealing with this. Or, oh, you know, I didn't really know I was struggling with this. Um, and so that is something that wives are starting to discover once they take the curriculum. It's not just about my husband, my husband, my husband, which is one of the reasons I go back to um, the grief coaching, why I'm not doing the grief coaching, because I don't want wives to kind of like sit in that same place. I don't want to go over that same mountain over and over again. Now, there are some coaches who that is the area. Um, they That is one of the things that they, they are, you know, they 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 coach in in that area. Coach T don't really um, do good in that area. Uh, I think I mentioned before, I told y'all before, I don't really do good with tears because I'm trying to get you to that next place. I'm okay for you, you know, cry, get your cry out and let's move on because we got we to gotta keep moving because you got stuff to do. All right. Um, and so once she takes the curriculum and she begins to discover that, you know, she has some other things going on that, you know, is not just my marriage. And I always tell wives, marriage, your marriage injury is the entry point. Your marriage injury is the inv is the invite. Your marriage injury is God's getting your attention. That's all the marriage injury is. The marriage injury is God said, okay, now you making a decision to, to, to see about this. I want you to come see about you too. All right. God is always looking for us to um, better. Uh, he's always looking to better us. He's always looking to um, improve us. He's always looking for us to look inside of us first versus pointing the finger and blaming everyone else. All right. Um, the Bible even tells us in Matthew 7 and 3, it says, and why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? Why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? And so one of the questions, one of the questions I asked my wife during the curriculum is, how is the work going? They get a uh, weekly work, uh, I call it formulas um, and different steps that they take, you know, when, they, when they're doing a, the, the, the curriculum. And so I asked them, you know, each time we meet again for our session, how is the work going? Like, you know, how, how was the work this week? And the responses I usually get is, oh, it was, you know, it was really challenging this week. Or, you know, I had to really, really, you know, think hard about this. Or this, this, these questions really took me back, you know, to a place where I had to go back and like, you know, go back and revisit that. Um, or, you know, no, nah, those questions was really, really challenging. I had to put those questions to a side because it really, really made me go to a place that I didn't want to go. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm discovering. A lot of these a lot of these things that whites are dealing with is not just a marriage injury, but it's really some things that they are still dealing with on the deep down inside that they don't want to talk about. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just going to tuck mine in. I ain't going to, I ain't going to, I ain't going to address it. I'm going to just tuck mine in. And so when I hear those types of responses, that is an indicator to me that it's working. That is an indicator to me that the Holy Spirit doing what he's supposed to do. That is an indicator to me that, you know, you are being challenged and you are being, uh, um, forced to take a look at yourself okay because if the work that i'm giving you is not challenging you or it's not making you think or it's not making you you know kind of pull back some of those layers or you know pull back some of those things then i'm probably not the right coach for you and you probably are in the wrong curriculum if 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 all you want to do is just talk about your marriage it's that that's it just talk about your marriage then i'm probably not the coach for you um, now, like I said, I was offering grief, I was offering grief, um, coaching, but I don't really want to, I don't really want to do too much time in that just because of, I'm noticing once we start doing some of these grief coaching sessions that 
this this person really should have taken the her buoyancy boots. If she would have taken the her buoyancy boots first, maybe some of these challenges that she's having, she won't be having as much. Or maybe she'll be able to recognize, you know, some of these errors that she needs to bring some correction to her own life. And so, um, if all you want to do at this point is just talk about just your marriage, there is specific coaches for that part. I am more of the coach who's ready to help you do your work. I'm more of the coach who you have made a decision. You have made a sound decision about I'm ready to move forward. I have accepted where my marriage is at. I have accepted where, you know, what things are at between me and my husband and in my marriage. And now I am ready to do my inner self work. Okay. Um, as a Christian wife coach who have, you know, journeyed through the same journey as you, my process, um, I went through, I went through my process. I went through my journey. My story may not necessarily be your story, but I understand your story. I understand what you, you know, what you went through, um, or, or what you're going through, I should say. And, um, I'm educated in the process. I'm, I'm educated in the process. And so that's one of the things I really try to help wives to get because it's the process where people are, where, 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 where wives are really falling. It's the process where people are um, really, really losing. It's in the process where, you know, wives are throwing in the towel and saying, look, I don't want to do this. And so my job, my job is to help you to pull through that process in a healthy way. That's that's what my job is to help you pull through some of that hard stuff that you're going to be challenged or faced with i'm there to help you kind of like pull through that all right so i'm educated in the process as a bible teacher as a bible teacher i am required i am required to share with you what god word says you know um and a lot of times i think sometimes people get that part mixed up because they think well it's just a ministry no it's a business and i just do ministry in my business um <laughs> but it is a it's a it's a business um, but I am required, I am required as a representative of Christ myself to share with you what God word says, not just what God word says about your marriage, but what God word says about you, <laughs> but God word says about some of the, some of the, um, challenges that you may be facing. I am required to tell you what God word says. Okay. And then of course, as a marriage advocate, I'm an advocate for marriage. So my goal, my end goal is for you to be reconciled back to your husband. I am not one of those coaches who really are is promoting or saying, you know, well, if you don't, you know, if you, you know, if you don't want to do it or you don't want to, I'm not really promoting that. Now, at the end of the day, the decision is yours. The decision is yours, but I am more for the, I, I shared before, I'm more for the husband than I am for the wife. And I say that because there are husbands who are out here suffering, who are going through really, really hard times and they need someone to intercede for them. There are husbands who are lost. They're they are considered lost souls. And so because they're considered lost souls, they need someone to stand in the gap for them. And a lot of times, some wives don't want to do that. And I don't encourage wives who are not called to this to do that. And so that's why you really need to have a solid decision made about what you're, you know, what you're doing. Because if you're not really sure, if you still kind of like second guessing it. Now, I, I do encourage wives to sign up for consultations if you're not sure. Because as my, as, as, as you do that, I can help guide you and lead you on what you need to do next. So if you kind of like figuring like, you know, well, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if God really said anything to me about this. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be doing this. Then of course, yes. Sign up for a consultation. Let me help you get to where you need to be at next. But once you have made that decision, like, you know, I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing or I know this is how I'm supposed to be moving forward. Then the next step to that is to start moving forward and to start moving forward. It does not start with your husband or your marriage to start moving forward. It starts with you. All right. Um, and so my goal, my goal is to really, really encourage wives to do their inner work so they can help their husbands eventually. OK, you're not going to be able to help your husband if you are not in a in the right state of mind. You're not going to be able to really receive from God, hear from God clearly, really understand your next steps. If you're if you're not doing your own personal work, so many wives try to jump on this journey and they focus is, well, I'm, I'm standing for my marriage. I'm standing for my marriage. And they want to, you know, they want to do all these things about their marriage, but they dealing with low self-esteem or they dealing with, you know, control or, you know, they got a bad attitude or, you know, God has been correct, you know, telling them about their health and they need to work on, you know, some things and, you know, in, in, in their lives. So too many wives are trying to jump on this bandwagon of marital restoration when really they need to focus on restoring themselves first. So that's the first step. All right. 
And so, yes, my job, my job um, is to help, is to encourage the wife to reconcile back to her marriage. As a, as a medical professional, as a medical profession, my job is to help the wife uh, prioritize her well-being and that's why I focus so much on the self-care because if you are not taking care of yourself if you are not prioritizing your mental your emotional your physical and your spiritual health you are wasting your time on this journey I can tell you right now <laughs> you are wasting your time on this journey because you would not do well you would not do well on this stand whether you are standing whether you're separating whether you're in between if you're not prioritizing those things you would not do well okay when you put all that together you get coach t a certified christian mental health wife coach who wants you to prioritize your self-care while you are on this journey okay and so i won't i do i want you to win i want you to win in your marriage and i want you to be able to um get everything that god wants you to get but I first want you to do your personal work because I recognize that if you don't do your personal work, you will go years and years and years and years on that same cycle with the wrong, what they call it, the, the uh, I can't think of the word, with the wrong, with the wrong idea of what you think a marriage is supposed to be or what you think it's supposed to look like. You know, everyone had their own perspective of what marriage should look like. And everybody had their own perspective of what, you know, how we supposed to be doing marriage. But kingdom way versus the church's way versus the culture's way is totally different. All right. You have kingdom, church and culture. And so you have to figure out which side you want to be on. And if you want to do this, you might want to be on kingdom side. OK, most wives enter into their marriage with the wrong idea about marriage. So they don't know they don't they don't know what marriage is about. Um, they don't know who they are. Um, they don't really have enough uh, confidence or self-esteem about themselves. They, 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 they lack it in that area. Um, they're unfamiliar with their purpose. Um, they don't, um, they're, they're not whole themselves. Um, and most times they are wounded. They are wounded themselves from a childhood trauma or just from life past experiences, you know, just, just, just being, a, you know, in life. And so one of the things I try to help her do is to um, get back to her authentic, healthier self. And sometimes that mean you have to start with renewing some of those things in your mind renewing some of those those bad uh uh things that you have learned from church some of the the bad examples you have seen from home um some of the bad examples you have seen in society in the world or you know on tv or hollywood or whatever everybody have this idea of what marriage is or what and how it's supposed to look and what a lot of times people fail to realize is the number one reason for marriage, God created marriage for you to be a mirror. You know, you, you marriage mirrors him in his relationship with us. And so God wants relationship with you. He wants relationship more, more, with you more than anything. And so it's not just about restoring my marriage. Me and my husband coming together. We're going to start hanging out together again. We're going to start having sex again. We're going to start, you know, going on dates again. All those things are bonuses. <laughs> That's the bonus. That's after you do the work. Okay. I'm just after you do the work, but you have to first do what's necessary first to get to the bonuses. Okay. So it's not just about, I'm coming back together with my husband. I'm coming back together in my marriage, but you not working on you. You ain't checked on you. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't dealt with that thing from, you know, way back ago that was there. You kind of like just swept that up underneath the world. Like I ain't going, I ain't going to deal with that. You ain't, you haven't dealt with your own self and you have to do that. And so what does your personal work consist of? What does your personal work, work consist of? Depending on where you are on your journey, it may vary. However, there are areas of your life that could need that that possibly needs daily attention. That would be, of course, your mental, your emotional, your physical, and spiritual health. These areas must be examined and evaluated daily. It, it's a must. Like you need to check in with yourself on you know with that daily. All right. Um, and these areas may be evaluated daily. So doing your personal work starts with self-awareness. Doing your personal work starts with self-reflection. Doing your um, self-work starts with taking inventory over yourself, self-improving. Doing your work consists of self-loving. Doing your work um, consists of relining yourself, of getting back in relationship with God like you need to be. Um, doing your work can consist of repositioning yourself, repositioning your heart, your heart posture. Doing your work can um, consist of renewing your mind. 
doing your work can um, consist of regaining, regaining your 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 strength, regaining your um, regaining regaining your strength, regaining um, who you know your emotions and your and having more control over your emotions. A lot of times when you are on this type of roller coaster ride, your emotions get the best of you. You're dealing with the up down up down up down, and so you have to be mindful of that. You have to be mindful of that, and so regaining um, and getting total control back over your emotions, um, rebuilding. It's uh, doing your work. It consists of rebuilding, rebuilding your life. Sometimes you do have to tear everything down, tear everything, you know, down and then start over again. Sometimes you do have to start from rock bottom. You know, it's like, you know, everything that you learn, you have to tear all that stuff around. I always tell, you know, uh, my premarital couples, you know, whatever you whatever you know about marriage, get rid of it. Like you just get it out of your mind, you know. So um, definitely reclaiming, uh, re I mean, rebuilding and then also reclaiming, reclaiming your life, reclaiming your future, reclaiming your family, reclaiming your husband, reclaiming your marriage. You want to get back to that place, but you got to first start with you. Doing your personal inner work, wife, is the first step to even get into marital restoration. That that's the first step, and so some, and so you deal with the grief part. And I and I and I and I use this graph, you know, for wife to you know determine what you know where you are on the on the on the grief on a grief graph. Um, and sometimes you are okay. Sometimes you angry. Sometimes you depressed. Sometimes you good. Sometimes you not. Sometimes you, you bargain. You try and figure this thing out. You kind of like, you have to figure out where you are on that. Listen, and that will happen throughout the whole time until you are fully reconciled with your husband. So you're going to be dealing with the grief and you're going to be dealing with the up down on there. And so this is why it's so important for you to follow pursuit through with the whole curriculum not just a lot of times i get wives who will start the curriculum they do the, they do the six weeks but they don't go through the whole year and what happens is is they cut themselves short from receiving everything god wants to get to them after those six weeks of the of the of the curriculum you don't want to stop there and this is why i do do the monthly check-ins for my heart bonus to boost clients because what i'm doing here now now that you're not walking with me every single week now i check in with you monthly to kind of see where you where you are where you stand what you got going on what has happened in these 30 days that have probably triggered you in some kind of way what has happened in these 30 days that may have changed your mind again have you been in contact with your husband has something happened since then since the last time we've seen each other like it's different layers that's constantly being pulled back and being read and, and being discovered on this journey so you can't just stop at the six weeks the six weeks is the curriculum the six weeks is to bring correction the six weeks is to give you guidance the six weeks is like your guide the six weeks say okay this is what my problem is i'm going to start doing my work and start working ahead and now i have my coach here with me i have them walking with me so i walk with you i walk with you for those for those six weeks and then eventually i pull back and i give you that time to see how you do on your own but you have that opportunity to still come back and keep checking in and what are the things i'm highlighting during that time how you take care of your mental health how you take care of your emotional health how you take care of yourself physically and how you take care of yourself spiritually because those four areas is going to determine how well you do on this stand those four areas are going to be the areas that you need to prioritize daily in order to do this okay once wives get hooked and get themselves together the inner the, the inner cells of them get get that part together then they will begin to have that confidence and then they begin to start working in other areas of your life. Then they that's when wife start to discover, oh, I didn't realize I was good in this area. Oh, I didn't realize that, you know, my my spiritual gift is this. Uh, oh, I didn't realize this is something that God was calling me to. You have other earthly assignments on earth, wife. It's not just your marriage. Your marriage is part, it's just one of your earthly assignments. There are other assignments that God has here for you to do. And so sometimes wives are so caught up in just their marriage stuff, they, 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 they bypass all of the other things, all of the other benefits that God wants to bring to their attention. A lot of wives during this curriculum, after going through the six weeks and going through that year, they discover what their purpose is. They discover the areas they have to start you know they, they should start working and they discover um um different things that they want to start doing whether it's going back to school whether it's starting their own business whether it's helping somebody else out um 
whatever that situation may be, these types of things come to surface. Listen, Coach T asks you the hard questions. I give you the curriculum. I ask you the hard questions, but I allow the Holy Spirit to do his part. And because I am solely dependent on the Holy Spirit to change and move in you. All right. That's what it's all about. That's that's what it's all about. And so I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you if you are in a place or are you thinking about, you know, um, doing that work going into the new year i say listen start preparing now don't wait until the new year to start you know getting yourself together start preparing now on what you want to do marital restoration is not about uh uh you your husband your boo y'all come back together and that's and that's cool marital restoration is about your relationship with you and god Marriage versus marriage versus restoration is about you getting back into a healthy place with God, so God can show you the things about yourself that needs to be improved. And then, and then after you start doing those things, after that that time passed, then you will start hearing God say, "I need you to call your husband today. I need you to text your husband. I need you to go by your husband's job today." But this is after you have already been doing your work. Okay, he ain't, he ain't telling you things, these things like this right in the beginning, not necessarily. Sometimes he do, sometimes he don't. But as you work on yourself and as you yield to his process, then he will start doing some things in your marriage. Then he will start, not all of a sudden, my husband called me today all of a sudden. I hadn't heard from him this whole time. But then all of a sudden today he called me. Or my husband decided to pop up at the house today. And all of a sudden, now you will start seeing God doing things, you know, doing things in your marriage. But it's not until you first do your work. Wives have to make a decision to do their inner work, all right? That's how this goes. So if you have not, sign up. Sign up for your consultation. You can sign up at www.marriagechroniclesbytanika.com to, to find out where you are. I always say you're not obligated to anything. Um, a lot of wives, they, call, they, they, they reach out to me and want to know, um, you know, the price. They want to know the price. And I'm real particular about that because I feel like when you just asking me only about the price, you're not, you, you exiting me out. You're not giving me an opportunity to even see if I can help you or if I, if I would be any benefit to you. Um, and so what I like to share with that is once the wife um, secure her consultation and I send her over her assessment, once she sends me back her assessment, I then make a, uh, um, a, you know, a, a recommendation based off of what she shares, what type of coaching she needs. In that part, doing that, doing that part in the bottom, it would show, it would show you how much the pricing is for all of my, um, you know, all of my, all of my coaching, you know, you, you will get the price, but it's like, let me, let me see if I can help you first before you just come bust not asking me for the price. It's like, I don't like that's fair. I don't, I don't really, I don't really like that. Um, I don't really like that. But you can always, always go to my website. I mean, I'm sorry, to my my business page as well, my Google business page. Um, and there, all my information is there. I'm not hiding anything. You know, I, I don't, I don't hide anything. I think wives do need to know what they are putting their money up towards. And so, if you want to know, you can also go to my business page as Boniency um, Premarital and Marital Life Coaching. On there, you will see my prices. You will see different the other services that I offer outside of being a wife coach. I other other you know other services as well. Um, and so you can do that as well. But start with the consultation. Start and see if it's something that you know. Let me see if this coach can help. Excuse me. Let me see if this coach can help me in some kind of way. One of the best things I did for myself on my journey, one of the best things I did for myself on my journey was get in alignment with someone who was holding me accountable. If it was up to me, my transparency, y'all, <laughs> if it was up to Coach T, I had, I had an exit out of that marriage, I don't know how many times, long, 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 long time ago. And one of the things I always appreciate about my wife coach was she was not no like pushover. She ain't like you. She ain't let you just like you know just like, I ain't doing this no more. I ain't you know I ain't I don't, I don't do this. You know she gonna ask you questions. She was gonna challenge you. She was gonna make you go do your work. She was gonna make you go make you go read things. She was gonna put you in that hot seat because it's like. This is serious business right here. It's not just your marriage that's on the line. Other things are on the line. You got generations. You got your children. All this stuff plays a role. Like, wife, you don't understand the role that you are playing. If God chose you for it, he chose you because he knows that you can do it. He chose you because he knows that you are the one for the job, right? But if you be so quick to throw in a towel, when, throw in a towel when stuff get hot, when it start blazing, because it will, <laughs> it will get hot. It will be blazing. You will have moments like that. 
You have to learn how to walk through the fire and come out on the other side. Hey, girl, what's going on? You have to know how to walk through the fire and come out, you know, on the other side. And so many wives are just kind of like, you know, well, I don't got to do this. I don't got to do this. That's, that's, that, that's, that's one thing. Let me share this. I thought about this today when I was um, going to my other job. I said, you know what? I'm so thankful that I stayed, you know, with this. I'm so thankful that I didn't just, you know, uh, you know, call it quits when, you know, when I want to call it quits because, um, doing, doing this has taught me a whole lot about me doing this have helped me to gain wisdom doing this. This is what, this is where the anointing come from. This is what coach she anointing come from doing this have helped me do my own personal work and it helps hold me. It also hold me accountable. I was like, well, if I can leave, I'll leave my husband. I might, you know, go get me a boyfriend and then, you know, eventually I'm, I'm going to be back in sin again anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna eventually be back in sin anyway. Um, and so I was like, well, I might as well just, you know, hold on to him, at least with him, you know, he my husband, and you know, we can still do the do, you know, whatever, and, and I ain't get in trouble with God. Um, so you have to start thinking like that. You have to think, you know, practical like that. Like, you know, okay, if, if I leave him and I go and be with somebody else. And now that person got all their problems and all their troubles and all they, you know, whatever. That was my mindset. That was, that was my thought process. I'm like, I got to start all over again. Uh, I might as well just stay here and work this out. <laughs> I might as well just stay here and, and work it out with him because ain't nobody got time for that. I don't want to start all over. I was talking to a client earlier today and she was explaining to me, you know, how, you know, um, how much she appreciated the, the curriculum because it really has showed her about, you know, I could easily, I could easily take this money and go spend on, you know, uh, drugs or, you know, alcohol, or I can be in somebody's institution, you know, for losing my mind. But instead I made a decision to invest into myself. I made a decision to invest into myself. So I always share it wise, you know, why it's always saying, you know, with the money, this and the money that and it's like, well, you have to think about it. You have to think about what, you know, what 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 that money what else it can go towards if you are not taking care of yourself if you're not investing you go get you a drink you go to the club you go and hanging out you go get your hair done you go get your nails done you go you're gonna do those types of things you know you're gonna get your nice outfit buy your nice little purse right and so it's like why don't you take that why don't you take that and put it into something that you're going to get something from out of it you're going to benefit from doing your own personal work it's going to reflect back on you it's going to show god is going to come through he's going to talk to you he's going to let you know what is it that that, that you need to do to move forward on this journey and i always tell wives you have two options 